Alrighty, hello there everyone, uh, welcome to this video. From the title you can tell that we are going to be doing an installation guide to Heesoft. Uh, this is going to be Heesoft 6.26. I have previously done this uh, a few other times before, and there really wasn't too many uh, sources on, or walkthroughs on how to do this, so that's really why I'm doing this right now. It was a little bit confusing the first time around and uh, now after doing it a few times um, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to do this. We're doing this on a Ubuntu virtual machine. Uh, this is going to be strictly for Ubuntu. Um, and so the first step that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go over to um, over to hesark gsfc.nasa.gov slash lhesoft slash download.html and you're going to want to download the source code. We're going to be building this from the source code. Uh, the pre-compiled uh, pre binary distributions are actually quite nice when you can get them to work. However, in my experience, they rarely ever work at all. Like I'm talking um, maybe a 5% success rate. So you're going to want to use the source code. The source co code is a little bit more uh, confusing and does take a little bit longer, but that's what we're going to do. So after you have that, you're going to go over to, uh, and you're going to put it into your home drive or wherever you want it, and we're just going to unpack it. So we're going to extract um, that entire tar file, uh, which should take a few minutes. Alright, so after you get everything all unpacked, um, it should take maybe two to five minutes, not too long, um, you're going to see the Heesoft uh, file pop up. Now, uh, you're still going to have this tar here, and until you fully have everything installed correctly, I recommend having this tar file available, just because it's very easy that if you need to restart the build and installation process, that you can just delete this Heesoft file here and extract this tar again then start over fresh and clean okay so uh, at first I was a little bit confused by this but uh, you shouldn't be if this is the case for you for some reason they put Heesoft in two different folders so we're just going to take this Heesoft and move it to the home and we're just going to get rid of this old Heesoft file right here don't necessarily need that now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to navigate in order to configure our build as you can see here this is where if you're following along with the uh, Heesark um, instructions um, from their website we're on step number three so we're going to need to navigate to um, our build dir directory and we're kind of right here so all, we're, all we need to do is just open this in a terminal you can do that with a command I find it easier just to open it up right in here so we're gonna have that here and now we have this terminal open what we're gonna end up doing now is we're gonna end up building uh, or we're, now we're gonna end up doing our configuration so what we're gonna do here we're gonna go dot slash configure and then we're going to type in this right here. You can follow along just right there. Um, config dot out. out. <laughs> and then we're going to go uh, to and one and and then you're going to go. It's going to start the configuration. Now, once it starts this, it's going to kind of queue it up and let it do its thing. This really shouldn't take too long, but I would wait about five minutes just to be safe. You don't need to, again, you don't need to wait too long, but wait a few minutes just to make sure that that is done correctly. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, skip back over into our build dir here. We're going to need that same thing, and we're going to need to make a build log. Now the reason why we want to make a build log is that when we're building the software from the source code, you're going to want to go through the log after it's all done to make sure that everything is right. So what we're going to do is we're going to build our build log. We're going to create our build log, then we're going to start reading our build log, and then we're going to end up making or building our software. So here what we're going to do to make that build log is again we're going to go make we're going to do that. We're going to go build dot log to 
and one and and so our first thing is all done as you can see our configure is done oh well I messed that up I'm gonna have to go back and redo our config log so we're gonna have to delete that because I didn't make that properly so I'm gonna move that one to the trash and we're gonna have to remake our config log so let me do that really quick All right, so we've got that thing queued up as the third one. Unfortunately for me, I did I just forgot the T on the dot out. So now we're going to have to wait for both of these. Okay, so now we've waited about 10 minutes. Now it's a little bit overkill. You don't need to wait 10 minutes, but um we can you can see here that our build log is here and our config out is right there um, and so now we're gonna move on to the next step which is to check the progress of the build log in real time because it may not be done so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go tail if you really wanna check to make sure this is done and go tail dash F we're gonna go build dot log and you can see that this is actually not done. This is still going. So what we're going to do is, um, while this is still going, you can see all this is still going, we're just going to let this go. This could take a little bit of time, but we're just going to let it do its thing and see what's happening. Right now, this build log is building what's actually going on. So we're just going to let this go. And again, this could take some time. You're going to probably want to get up and wait for a little while for this to go. Alrighty, so now um, it's roughly about an hour and a half later, and our build is already done and made. It says finished, make all. Um, you can see we've done a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff has been built, so the entire build is ready to go. And now the next most important step is to check our build log. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to close out of this terminal first. And it'll tell you there's still a process running in this terminal. Do you want the terminal? Closing the terminal will kill it. Well, you finished the make all. The only thing it's doing is it's reading the tail. So um, it's, just, or it's just reading um, everything that's supposed to be in there. It's, re it's just reading the process that goes through. And it says that it's finished. So we can close the terminal. We don't need to worry about that anymore. And we can go and check our build log. So we're just going to open up our build log in our text editor here. And we want to go through here. All right. So we don't want to edit any of this. We just want to look and see if there's any errors. So we're going to go through here, and we're just going to slowly go through. And usually if something says error, it will be pretty well highlighted. You'll be able to see it. So we've gone through the long and tedious process. We didn't find any errors in the build. We found a couple of warning message messages that said like, hey, this thing's not being used. Um, but those warnings aren't necessarily errors. Um, it wasn't an error message. Um, and everything looked all right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the next step. We're going to make the inst we're going to make the install log, we're going to make the install and the install log. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, we're going to go into our build dir, open up a brand new terminal, and then we're going to go make install this little thingy install dot log two and one and and hit enter and you can see it's queued up all ready to go we're gonna let that do its thing now you can do the same exact thing again um, except if you if you want to see this whole thing install we can go tail dash f 
and then we're going to go install dot log no such file or directory N all right well uh we're going to we're going to close this out <laughs> where is it it should be we don't want to install the OG, so we'll get rid of that. Alright. <laughs> now, because I can't type, this happens quite a lot. I can type, but I just forgot. That's twice in this video now that we've done that. So now we're going to make the... Ins so we're going to redo this, and we're going to make the install and the install log. Um, we're going to do this again um, correctly, though, where I actually type out the full log. So we're going to go make, for one more time for everybody, make, install... install log to and one and and um yeah now we're going and we can actually tail our install log so we're gonna go tail dash f install dot log and there we go. You can see that it's doing the full installation for us. And you're going to do the same exact thing that we did for the build. Go and find something to do for the time that it's doing this. Make sure to keep on checking on it. Again, the build took about an hour and a half for everything for me. So right now, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to let this install. Alrighty, so we're roughly about a half hour later. And actually, the install is all finished. The tail shows finished make install. Um, I don't know why I thought that that lasted a little bit longer, but it went very quick this time, only a half hour. So all in all, to build it and uh, to do the build and the install, look for around two hours plus like an additional half an hour just to make sure everything else is really working well. So uh, we finished our make install. Now we're going to go through and uh, we're going to look. Again, we can close this terminal because... Uh, the the installate the make install is done so we don't have to worry about that we can close this terminal and what we're going to do here is we're going to go over here and we're just going to go to our install log and we're just going to check this one here as well for uh any errors or warnings that may show up okay so now we've gone over all of our install log and we haven't found any errors or even any warning messages which is really really nice so we're going to move on to the last few steps here um which are the most important steps right here because now we've got everything we've got the hard part pretty much done we've got the build fully made we've fully installed it everything looks like it's been done correctly now we need to set this up so that we can uh open up um he soft whenever we want to and we want to do this in such an easy way so the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to open up a clean terminal okay okay well now that we've gotten all that figured out i apologize for that just took a minute i couldn't seem to get the right path in there but the, anyway so what, what you need to do is you need to type in export set head ass it needs to be head s capital h e a d a s head ass equals the path to um, this x86 folder then what you need to do is you're gonna need to run that or call it an alias um, the alias you're supposed to call it or you could really call it anything you want but what was universally kinda used is he in it so you're gonna uh, say alias he in it equals uh, dot that head ass equals head ass in it dot sh just like you see right there and then you can type in he in it and uh, then you should be in um, and he's soft and so here's just a couple list of things here but what you can do is we can type in x spec and now we are in x spec um, which is one of the programs that can be run inside of he soft which is really cool so that is fully how you do it now there is one last little step that is really nice so what we're going to do is we're going to open up a second terminal here. We're going to open up a second terminal here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go sudo get it 
dot bash rc and we're going to type in our password and what this should do is this should open up a, a text editor right here and what we're going to do is we're going to go into our old um, we're going to go into our old thing right here and we're just going to copy and paste this first line that we have here so copy that and we're gonna go right down to the bottom here and we're just gonna add this in so we can paste that paste I know you can do it <laughs> copy <laughs> Paste. All right, so we got our first line right in there. Now we're going to need our alias. So we're going to go right here, copy and paste our alias. And then we're going to save this. Save this and close this. And now every time, no matter what, um, no matter what terminal we open, we're going to close this terminal here. No matter what terminal we open, so we'll open a fresh terminal. All we have to type in now is heat in it, and we should be good to go. Let's type in expect to make sure we can get into one of the HeSoft programs. X spec, and there we go. We're in expect, so we know that it's working. You can type in a ton of different things, but that is how you install HeSoft. It is, it is a little bit time consuming. Um, and as you can see, you need to do you need to be very careful about how you set things up. For me, I was not as tedious as I probably should have been, so it took me a little bit longer um, than uh, it should have. But in the amount of time that it took us to download it, do the prerequisites, and get everything else going, we we started at about uh, this this should take you about three to four hours to do. So it is a bit lengthy. It does take a lot of time, but it does work. So if you have any questions, be sure to uh, put those in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer any of those as best as I possibly can. Hopefully this helped out anyone that was any of you that were trying to install and or you know get HeSoft started. Maybe this is your first time using Ubuntu or something like that. Regardless this is how uh, it should be done and uh, I hope this helped